Engineer, kamusta kayo? Okay naman, sir. <laughs> Pwede po bang, um, para sa mga hindi po nakakilala sa iyo, please introduce yourself. Okay. Yeah. So, I'm uh, Junjun Fetizanan. Uh, I'm a mechanical engineer and uh, also a business owner. So, uh, we have a business called uh, Futuristic Aviation and Maritime Enterprise. Mm -hmm. So, we create transponders to track and monitor aircrafts and maritime vessels. Uh, so, ngayon, nakafocus kami on tracking fishing boats and also uh, doing uh, fish catch documentation and traceability. Lalo na dun sa mga, uh, mga high-end natin na products na in-export like yellowfin tuna. So, that's what we really do. Yeah. Okay. Pero ngayon po, uh, meron kayong idea para makatulong dito sa crisis natin? Yes. So, what we did, uh, kasi nakita nga namin yung, ano, yung need ng natin ngayon. Tapos nag-isip kami ng paraan kung paano makatulong actually. Uh, and siguro dahil sa mga ginagawa namin, we uh, parang ano, mga makers kami. So we create uh, devices, uh, we create uh, combined uh, hardware and software. Nag-isip kami ng mga, no, ng mga pwedeng maging parang uh, way para makatulong sa ngayon. Mm -hmm. And isa nga doon sa naisip namin na yun is, you know, una is... Uh, gumawa ng ventilator kasi tiba yun yung pinaka problem natin ngayon ang daming uh, uh, kulang kulang talaga yung mga ventilators pero isa rin sa naging uh, uh, limitation namin on that part is mahirap makahanap ng parts ngayon so electronic parts hindi ka basta-basta makakapag uh, import hindi ka basta-basta makakabili ngayon so we we thought of a solution sana na ano, na what if we can use make use of uh, yung mga readily available materials na na mga gamit kagad and isa sa pumasok sa isip namin is why not use yung ambubag na currently mm -hmm. na ginagamit if you go to public hospitals for examples uh, walang mga ventilators they use ambubags to actually aid yung yung person to actually breathe Sabi na namin, uh, this is uh, parang ideal then uh, uh, to be used. Kaya lang, syempre, sa ngayon dahil do sa COVID-19 uh, virus, ano siya, nakakahawa talaga ng luba. So, uh, inisip namin, why not ano, gawin siyang ano, automated para makatulong talaga na complete isolation yung pasyente and at the same time, uh, uh, nabib nabibigyan ng solusyon kahit pa paano uh, using the ambubag. So, para it's really... Naman. Para po sa mga hindi familiar dun sa ambubag, describe nga po yung ambubag. Okay. Ito yung ano, parang ano siya, manual resuscitator na yung parang may, ano, may pump na oh, manual. Yung, Tapos yung uh, ginagalaw-galaw natin ito para lumabas yung hangin dun, papunta dun sa pasyente. So, yun, yun, yun agad naisip namin. Nakita namin, oy, ginagamit nga pala yung mga ambubags, lalo na sa mga public hospitals. Ah, uh, Pero hindi siya pwede gamitin, lalo na ngayon, sa COVID, nakakahawa kasi. So kung nandun yung may taong naghahawak nun uh, at nag nagpapump nun, baka mahawa. Uh, makakadagdag pa doon sa problems nung ating, first uh, nung ating mga frontliners. Mm -hmm. So kaya naisip namin, why not automate it? Na parang merong isang device na actually talaga yung nagpapump nun. And we thought of uh, uh, using a robotic arm for that. Na ano naman, maraming, maraming available, uh, lalo na dito rin sa uh, country natin, maraming uh, robotic arms. And later on, it can be 3D printed then. So, we made use of that to actually pump yung machine. Inautomate namin uh, using yung mga parts na ginagamit namin normally sa transponder namin. Mm -hmm. uh, we made use of that and uh, customize it para magamit to actually control yung, yung pag-pump dun sa, dun sa ambubag. Nice. Na, nasubukan niyo na po ba? Uh, currently, actually, uh, when we actually posted it sa Facebook, we just created yung pinaka-prototype niya. So, uh, na, na, nagpa-pump siya. Yeah, so it pumps the the actual machine. Sa ngayon, ang ginagawa namin is uh, we're, we're actually validating it. We're talking to medical experts. Uh, of course, kasi syempre sila yung magsasabi kung, kung, kung magiging useful ito. And uh, they're, they're actually giving us useful feedback, lalong-lalo na kung paano, kung paano yung rate and pressure that, uh, that can be done by the robotic arm to pump the, the, the actual ambubags that are available. Mm -hmm. So uh, right now, we're, uh, may tawag kami sa kanya, so we're calling it as ano, uh, RUA. Uh, 
uh, namin yon sa ano, sa Hebrew word uh, which means uh, uh, breath of God. So or to breathe. So yun yung ano. So that's what we're calling it na sana makatulong talaga to to help uh, lalong-lalo na sa mga hospital natin na na medyo nagkukulang sa ventilators and yung mga nag-aantay habang nag-aantay they can make use of this uh, automated uh, ambio bag para uh, makatulong sa paghinga. Mm-mm. Ano pong feedback ng mga medical experts na inyong nakausap? Okay. So right now, they're actually, uh, uh, binabanggit nila, uh, unang-una, uh, kasi di ba, ang, ang COVID-19 is very contagious. So nakakahawa talaga siya. We must make sure na yung, ano, yung, yung uh, pagbuga niya ng hangin, hindi mag, maglalabas ng ano, yung, in, kaya gumagamit sila mga aerosol bags, di ba? Mm-hmm. So para yung ano, uh, hindi hindi lumabas yon at makahawa pa. So we're we're, t- uh, we're getting those feedback and another thing is yung yun nga, yung rate of pressure. Kasi iba-iba yung rate of, uh, for example for an adult, for a kid or for an infant. So uh, depende yon dun sa binigay nilang rate, we can put up settings na yung pagpump niya ng ano ng air uh, depende dun sa settings na gagawin. Okay, okay. So lahat po ng ito ay um, tinitake nyo under consideration and you're going to come up with another prototype? Yes, actually yung design namin continues and eventually ang target namin is we can actually have it na parang, parang mass production na konti na we can actually use 3D printers to print it. So yung prototype namin, if you can see it, uh, we made use of PVCs, uh, cable ties, alam ko ano available na makikita namin and convert that uh, into uh, into a useful product pero uh, nagulat din kami sa ano sa outpour ng mga tulong mm-hmm. so uh, eventually we, uh, we don't have a 3D printer no ano then uh, through the help of a uh, Facebook group uh, we were able to get one oh. and high end pa na, na ano so we can actually make use of that uh, right now uh, kanina lang uh, I talked with my my team uh, we're creating uh, a 3D design already para i-print namin yung pinaka-base, yung mga hawakan, papalitan namin yung mga PVCs ng, uh, mga, na, ng, ano, ng isang 3D printed file, uh, 3D printed uh, base para magamit talaga. And hopefully, uh, ma-deploy din sa sakala. May estimate ba kayo dun sa cost ng machine? Yeah, we're, we're actually still reviewing it. Uh, what we did then is, ano, we we asked the help of ano uh, actually we we approached the OST uh, binanggit namin sa kanila baka pwede kami makatulong so right now uh, nandun kami so uh, and actually we're really asking uh, if there are actually uh, suppliers of ambu bags kasi yun yung pinaka critical doon yun talaga yung ginagamit doon yung ambu bags so they can uh, uh, parang ano, pwede namin itong i-mass produce or pwedeng gawin, halimbawa, mga nasa probinsya. Uh, I've I just heard kanina, uh, for example, isang town, uh, there are 21 towns in a province, wala sila ni isang ventilator. So if this can help, uh, and then if they, they can actually do it there na, if, if possible, we can just actually give them yung yung customized ano namin, na controller, mm-hmm. uh, bigay sa kanila if they have uh, available ambu bags they can easily assemble it. So, yun sana yung tinitignan ni namin na pwedeng mangyari dito. But, but of course, we have to uh, uh, ipasok din namin yung, ano, yung safety component. Since uh, this is this will be placed on a, on a patient, kailangan talaga, ano, uh, with the help of uh, experts, uh, medical experts, uh, who can help us uh, fine-tune the, the design bago namin siya ilagas. So, ito po ay pwedeng gawin ng kahit na sino, basta merong instructions, kahit na walang 3D printer? It, uh, that's what we're, we're actually uh, targeting. But um, may yan rin kung may 3D printer. Kasi yes. ngayon, uh, uh, nagugulat din ako sa mga feedback coming in from the people, uh, even on Facebook. Uh, they have their own fab labs. Halimbawa, yung mga universities natin sa provinces, they have their own tech hubs, uh-huh. fab lab. So, they can actually do that uh, also uh, with this. So, talagang Ang naisip namin dito is total collaboration talaga kasi we really need all the help that we, we can have oh, para man. para makatulong. Oh, and ang ang mahalaga it's it's low cost so pwede siyang gawin ng maramihan at uh, hindi siya mahirap gawin para madali siyang yes. get. Oh, oh. Yes. Yes. Oh. Oh, oh. Um ano ang plan niyo with this contraption though? Um uh, if 
makakuha kayo ng, ng go signal from the experts, from authorities, what's the next step? Yeah. Uh, pag, pag nangyari yan, actually, uh, for example, with the OST and, and others, we need, uh, we need to pilot it. So we, we, we probably will choose uh, several hospitals that are willing to actually test it. Mm -hmm. uh, then from there, we get feedback again, and then we come up with the final design that we can actually probably mass produce. Uh, yun yung, ano, uh, and uh, as mentioned, uh, nagulat ako sa outpour ng, ng uh, mga gustong tumulong. Uh, <laughs> buong araw sumasagot ako ng telepono ngayon <laughs> kasi basically they're all asking uh, if this can uh, work and binabanggit lang namin sa kanila we, we really have to make sure that it's safe uh, and that it can be used uh, through the help of medical experts that's wonderful well I, I hope it works out dahil um, kung dumami pa yung mga pasyente natin siguradong kailangan ng mga ng mga contraction ng mga ventilator para uh, makatulong sa kanilang survival rate Yes. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Balitaan niyo po kami kung ano ang uh, susunod na mangyayari sa inyong project. Yes. Maraming maraming salamat sa opportunity na to. And yun nga, as mentioned, uh, probably we're asking then uh, for help uh, if there are uh, suppliers of ambu bags uh, para maging ready lang. Uh, once we, we roll this out, uh, pwede uh, madali tayo makakuha ng mga, mga, mga uh, parts for it. For it. Okay. Engineer, maraming salamat po. At uh, Sorry, maraming salamat po. Uh, let's all stay, uh, stay safe. Thank you po.